Milani had a big win over Rainey last round where he scored four points in the last 15 seconds off of a takedown and a gut to win 8-8 on criteria. And he's going to take the lead here on Bassett early with a go behind. And yeah. I saw this happen to Bassett yesterday where he got taken down and then came back in complete Bo Bassett fashion with a lot of go behind snaps and go behinds were, you know, are kind of his MO. And you're going to see him be very good here as he's already working towards this hand in the in the arm He'll pit, go drag, run around to it. No score yet. There's the takedown. The I said it during the, the semifinals. The only word I could use to, to describe Bo Bassett's pace is ferocious, <laughs> vicious. Like it's not even about going fast. It's I'm going to attempt to break you with how fast I'm going, how long I can go at this speed, and there's nothing you could do about it. Which, as a you know, as an opposing athlete or coach, it poses a huge matchup nightmare. Yeah, and he, like as you're seeing, he wastes zero time in front head. He wants to get to that arm drag, go behind every single time. He's very good at getting there. Very good at putting pressure on the head and moving his feet to score on that go behind. So, Bo Bassett out to a 4-0, or excuse me, 4-2 lead now on Milani, who scored the first points of the bout. One red. Some physical hand fighting going on here. A little, little, you know, a little bit of a phone booth action going on here. Strong snap there by Milani. Bassett back to his favorite position. Milani able to catch the leg on the first go round. But he'll give up the takedown now. 7-2 so now is our score. With about a minute 10, or a minute 12 to go now in this first period, minute 13. Can't get past the hands of Bo Bassett. And that's... That's like his, you know, obviously first line of defense there is, is his hands. He keeps his hands on you, and that's what really dictates his pace as well, just his ability to hand fight quickly and keep his hands on either your head or your shoulder or anything and else. And they're going to stop that one as the knee was being tweaked a little bit. But, you know, not being able to get past his hands is huge for, for Bo Bassett. Absolutely. It, it, it forces you to wrestle the match on his terms, which tr trying to wrestle Bo Bassett on his terms it is a daunting task, to say the least. He's out to a 9-2 lead now with about 37 seconds to wrestle in this period. And, and, and that's the thing about Bo Bassett is he has it in the locker, like in the locker, but none of what he's done is special. It is hard pace, hard hand fighting, snap down, down block, go behind. Like, we know he can do more than that, but that's all he needs to do. He, he, every movement, there's not a single wasted movement with Bo Bassett. Every movement, every action has the intention of scoring points. And I like how Milani's coming right back to where he was to score those first two points of the bout. Obviously, Bassett has turned up a lot of his action on his go-behinds, and that's going to be two on the takedown, two on the tip, 13-2 tech, which is... Two seconds left. Bassett gets things done here in the first. So now we'll see Dawson Johnson 